Just recently, Jared Leto dropped the first official snapshot from Tron 3, sparking a wave of online chatter. The photo captures his enigmatic character seemingly channeling the spirit of the Greek god of war. Leto clad in a futuristic dark red suit reminiscent of the one seen in Legacy. Yeah, that gem from a whopping 14 years ago stands front and center in the image. He also confirmed that the threequel is slated for a 2025 release. Currently, filming is ongoing, with post-production and the visual effects work soon to kick off. Given the franchise franchise's track record and Leto's knack for diving deep into his roles, this one's shaping up to be a feast for the eyes and the imagination. Let's just hope it doesn't get bogged down in production hell and we actually see it hit the big screen as promised. The upcoming sequel titled Ares promises to plunge us back into the familiar universe, offering a fresh look at a franchise that has captivated audiences with its virtual reality narrative for over 40 years, a theme as relevant today as ever. The discussion around artificial intelligence and the corruption within the world of programs adds a layer of intrigue, reminiscent of The Matrix, though Tron notably came first. The journey of the franchise hasn't been smooth. Despite the initial two films not achieving instant commercial success, they eventually gained a cult status. This has fostered a unique aura around them, complete with devoted fans and significant anticipation for future installments. However, given the hurdles faced during the production of the third part, which began development in 2010 and has undergone numerous script revisions, it's clear why the path to release has been so prolonged. Nevertheless, with the growing interest in artificial intelligence, the prospect of a new Tron installment seems more enticing than ever before. Even though Disney had shelved the project at one point, the resurgence of interest and discussions about continuing production in the industry hint at the franchise's potential to capture the attention of a new generation of viewers. In this light, the third part appears as an opportunity to tap into previously unexplored potential and breathe new life into the classic saga. Fans of the franchise have long been in a state of uncertainty and hope for the release of a new film. The question of whether the third installment would continue the story or reboot the series altogether has been a source of suspense. In 2020, Mitchell Lieb, president of Walt Disney Studios for Soundtracks, revealed in a podcast that Tron 3 was still in development, noting that the script had been written and the search for a new director was underway. Lieb also expressed hope for the return of Daft Punk as composers, although the French duo disbanded in 2021, indicating there will be changes to the musical landscape of the new installment. After a whirlwind of rumors and statements, it became clear that Tron Ares is shaping up to be a soft reboot with a fresh lead character. This move marks a long-awaited emergence from the prolonged development hell with the studio gearing up for production. Jared Leto, whose involvement was announced back in 2017, is set to play the lead role. This casting decision has sparked mixed reactions among fans given Leto's controversial roles in recent years. Evan Peters has also joined the project, injecting an additional layer of intrigue. While details about Peter's role in Ares remain under wraps, his proven talent and ability to deeply explore characters suggest that his participation will introduce vibrant new colors to the film and further expand the Tron universe. Given his track record of memorable performances, including in supporting roles, expectations for his character in the new movie are high. The Tron franchise initiated in 1982 with the release of its eponymous film, marking one of the pioneering cinematic explorations into the concept of virtual reality. The narrative centers on Kevin Flynn, portrayed by Jeff Bridges, a hacker endeavoring to expose the unethical practices of his employer. His efforts inadvertently lead him into the digital world, where programs are sentient beings capable of thought and emotion. This realm, known as the grid, was brought to life through cutting-edge visual effects and unique design for its time. The original Tron film established a foundation for a new genre within science fiction, focusing on themes of artificial intelligence, the interaction between physical and digital realms, and the potential of virtual reality. Despite not achieving blockbuster status upon its release, Tron eventually gained cult classic status, influencing the development of video games, cyber culture, and cinema at large. Its sequel, Tron Legacy, released in 2010, builds upon the themes and concepts introduced in the original film. It explores the complex relationships between creators and their creations and introduces a new generation of characters. Legacy revisits the roots of the original film by featuring Jeff Bridges' character Sun as the new protagonist, thereby strengthening the connection between generations and further examining the theme of interaction between the real and virtual worlds. In contrast, Tron, Ares takes 
takes a bold step forward by centering the plot around an entirely new character not previously seen in the franchise. This decision opens new avenues for exploring the Tron universe and its impact on the real world. By introducing fresh narratives and perspectives, Tron, Ares aims to expand the franchise's thematic and conceptual horizons, potentially engaging both long-standing fans and new audiences with its innovative approach to the blending of digital and physical realities. According to the brief description, Tron 3 is set to be a deep dive into the journeys of Ares, leaving room for a broad spectrum of interpretations. This is especially intriguing considering that previous films focused on events within the digital world, and the ending of Tron Legacy raised significant questions about the interaction between virtual and real worlds, providing the first example of a program transitioning into the human world. The name and role of the new main character, Ares, played by Jared Leto, hint at a possible plot direction related to a military invasion of the real world. After all, Ares in Greek mythology is the god of war, which could symbolize the onset of conflict between the digital and physical worlds. Interestingly, Joseph Kosinski, the director of Legacy, previously shared ideas from his original screenplay titled Tron Ascension, which centrally featured an invasion from the virtual world into the real one. If these ideas are incorporated into Ares, a clash between the two worlds seems inevitable. While these details and theories remain speculative, they open exciting prospects for plot development and further exploration of the theme of interaction between reality and virtuality, which is at the core of the entire Tron franchise. Building on this foundation, Tron 3 has the potential to redefine the boundaries of the franchise by blending the established lore with new, innovative concepts. The anticipation surrounding the character of Ares, coupled with Jared Leto's portrayal, could introduce a dynamic and complex protagonist or antagonist, challenging the binary opposition of good versus evil often seen in digital narratives. The introduction of Ares, a figure historically associated with chaos and warfare, into the Tron universe suggests a narrative ripe with conflict and transformation pushing the characters to navigate a world where the lines between virtual and physical realities are increasingly blurred. The incorporation of themes related to artificial intelligence, cybersecurity, and the essence of consciousness already explored in the franchise could be deepened. Ares's journey might not only be a physical invasion, but could also symbolize a philosophical inquiry into what it means to exist within and between two worlds, questioning the nature of reality itself. This could lead to a re-examination of the grid as a space not just for conflict, but as a realm where digital entities seek understanding, identity, and perhaps a new form of existence. Moreover, the interaction between Ares and the existing characters, or possibly new ones, could provide fertile ground for exploring themes of alliance, betrayal, and the quest for power. How these relationships evolve in the face of an impending clash between worlds could offer a fresh perspective on the character dynamics that fans have come to love. While still in the realm of speculation, the development of Tron, Ares, guided by the creative minds at Disney and the talent attached to the project holds promise for both longtime fans and newcomers. As the film progresses from concept to reality, it has the potential to ignite discussions about our increasingly digital world, the ethical implications of artificial intelligence, and the timeless human quest for meaning and connection in an ever-changing universe. Subscribe.